So uh, obviously, some of the big news today is that maybe I should just let Baldi's back again. Our boy, tell you. Our boy. Guys, um, it's been a long time. It's been quite a while. Damn. Damn. It's been Who was that guy? Year. It's been almost a year. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. It, that's crazy. It's been that long too. Holy shit. Final Fantasy returns on the 21st. Final Fantasy returns oh, on the 21st. There it is. Game again on the 21st. Coming back. Six days from now. Yep. Coming I don't back. Make it a big deal, really. Like I, I want everybody to know about it. Obviously. But oh, yes. he doesn't want to make it a big deal, but I'm gonna make it a big deal. <laughs> yeah. I'm start playing the game again. I will continue the story. Yay! That's today. Isn't that crazy? Yes. That's the point. What a coincidence. All right. Well, you don't have to make it a big deal. I will happily do that for you. <laughs> I'm so happy because, well, um, it was really fun to watch him go through the story. And with Asmund comes a shitload of players usually as well. We are in a little bit of a content lull right now. I don't know if you noticed, but you, this tends to happen in between major content patches. This is what always happens in every game. So, yeah. He's gonna go do a storm blood, a storm of ball. <laughs> yeah, so storm blood. I heard somewhere else uh, people told yeah. me that he is only gonna do storm blood, and like he might do the rest later. I, is that true? Is that what he said? I'm gonna do it in blocks. So like I want to make sure that I knock out one MSQ, and then I might do a couple of other games in between that, and then do the next one. Uh, that that's why. And, and like the, the logic with that is like, obviously people like watching a lot of different games. So it's like, if I only play one game the whole time, I think there could be people that like, I want to see X or Y is these things, right? Like they want to see other stuff too. So it, it's, a, it's about mixing it in. Uh, I think that's a smart way to approach it. I don't know if that's true or not. One patch per year. Do I think you'll enjoy yeah. Stormblood? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I think that Stormblood is mm -hmm. a better expansion if you can play through it all, like, consecutively, quest after that's quest. That's why I wanted For to me, do it. For me, I feel like I kind of struggled with Stormblood's story because I was playing yeah, that's it why I it wanted to do current. it. And so... So want to burn yourself out? Yeah. in between yeah. patches felt kind of bad for certain parts of the story. Having that more, con like, continuous mm -hmm. experience, I think, makes the story a lot more enjoyable. And I've had a lot of people say that have come from WoW recently, I've played through the story recently, say that they they enjoyed it, so. After Stormblood, maybe he'll do other games. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I'll finish, finish the whole thing. Off Cactuar. He'll like Xenos. Yeah, he will like Xenos. Yeah, just a dude with a sword who loves to fight. <laughs> Makes sense to me, <laughs> looks good to me, yeah. Yeah, I think he will like the fact that the, f well, I don't know if, I, I don't think I should spoil anything. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm, yeah. 6.18 for data center visit. Basically, Xenos is a character that can kick your ass. <laughs> He's like one of the few characters in the game that's powerful enough to potentially Damn. kick your ass. And uh, I'm curious to see what his reaction will be to like that first meeting. Okay. Yeah, he's. He I, I could beat him. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know if he's gonna be able to stop at Stormblood. As I heard the, the spoilers. No, I mean, like, I, I have, like, I think Xenos is the guy with, like, the hair, right? It's like, he's like the, he's got the thing. He's the Reaper guy. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've seen it. I mean, I've been on Twitter. Like, I've been on Twitter. I've seen that this is what the character is. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I, I use the internet, guys. Like, I see it. I mean, I, you can't expect the whole internet to not talk about a video game, okay? Just the way it goes. I don't know what the character does. I don't know what his role is, really. Is he the emperor or something? I have no fucking idea. I just know he's some guy. I don't, again, I don't know if that was confirmed or if he really even said that. Knowing what the character is, I do not think is a spoiler. Not, but I don't know if he's going to be able to stop at Stormblood without going on to Shadowbringers. But um, considering how the popularity of this game sort of ebbs and flows with content patches, major yeah. content patches, it's not, like, it's not that bad if he chooses to come play the game uh, during a major lull yeah, I think in so. content. Because, and then, like, wait until there's another major lull. 
that would be beneficial to pretty much every Final Fantasy XIV creator who has to deal with like the, you know, the waxing and waning of popularity of the game. Like that is that's always one thing that sucks with like certain games, right? Is like whenever you play the game and it's like, oh man, like it's like this is like your main game to stream and nobody really is is wanting to watch it right because it's the same stuff over and over and over you constantly feel like you have to pull a rabbit out of the hat or like entertain people and they're losing interest it sucks like i noticed that that was this thing with wow too like every game has this problem that's just been something i've had Suska's to learn not to consistent deal viewership with yeah in yeah years and years that i have focused i think anybody feel that Final way Fantasy 14 and this is something that can sort of allevi alleviate that so yeah <laughs> but again i don't know if i i don't think he's i don't know if he's going to be able to stop at stormblood we'll i don't think i would be able to because honestly the last patches of stormblood are very interesting and like okay very mysterious cool. and pretty cliffhangery and so I don't think I, I personally was so hyped for Shadowbringers. I remember it so well at the end of Stormblood when you had these like super mysterious quests and you yeah, really- Yeah, people have told me Shadowbringers is like the, that's the, that's the big one. They want to know what's going to happen next. So that's going to be not a very easy place to just stop. Yeah. Who wants to take a break? But and I Walker's good to, yeah, yeah, I heard. Final Fantasy XIV, uh, doing all the main story, it's pretty big uh -huh. time commitment, so it makes sense to me that he would maybe want to break up the expansions into like different yeah, exactly. blocks of time. Yeah, But, yeah. Because it's also like not just doing the main story, like I'm going to want to do the raids, right? I'm going to want to see what happens in the game. Like, I, I want to, like, yeah, I, I want to know, because if I don't know, then other people won't know, and, and then... It's like, because I, I give a lot of commentary on, like, games and about, like, just things, right? So the more that I know, the better my commentary can be. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah, because I, I have more context. Hi, this will be awesome. I can't wait. Someone in the comments said, mm -hmm. it's been almost a year. Man, what could it be? A haircut? It's a been longer. I have not gotten a haircut in, like, two years. Power, <laughs> but it's good old. Yeah, it's been like two or three years. <laughs> oh man, that's savage. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh yeah, Asmigal. I don't want to make it a big deal. Also, the big. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Number one, this is my fucking editors. Like, I did not make that title. I don't even know what happens on my YouTube channel most days. Like, I don't even know. Like. People tag me in a, every once in a while about like video. Well, I can't believe you fucking said this. I can't believe you titled your video like this. This is such bullshit, Asmon. And I'm like, I didn't even know this happened. Yeah, this just just happens without me. <laughs> True. Yeah, blaming. Yeah, throwing the editors True. under the bus. That's right. Uh, yeah, glad he's coming back. Also, from a streamer perspective, which was I was just talking about a second ago, it makes sense. Yeah. No big releases coming up for a bit. Spend yeah. a month or two to do a main story quest, plus some extremes slash savages. Put out quick bait titles constantly? Yes, they do. Wait a minute. Is that... Wait, a streamer... Wait. Wait a minute. Is... Is that the perspective that I should have? As a streamer? Because... I I have a tendency to pretty much only play Final Fantasy XIV no matter what is happening in the world. What is happening in the games, what games have been out. Yeah. I'm here like pretty much every day playing Final Fantasy XIV. I feel like for some people it's better to play like different games, for other people it's not. It depends on like what your personality is, why people watch you for the game. Like one thing that happens is like I mean, she's not like a competitive Final Fantasy player, right? People don't watch her people watch Zeppla because they like her. They don't watch her in the same reason that they watch like somebody who completes like Mythic plus twenty nines, right? She's good at the game, but that's not the only reason why people watch. So, like, if you're only good at one game and you go and you try to play other games that you're not good at, why the fuck would anybody watch you? You see what I'm saying? But if you go and you play other games and you're good at those games and, you know, you're entertaining and you can make it fun to watch, then it's easier to move around.
I'm like, she's going for necromancer. Oh my god. It probably fuck. might be a good idea for me to branch out a little bit more, you know, during content lulls. Just saying, but uh, kind of like as a streamer what myself, you're good at? It's funny, funny for me. I'm not sure. But, they haven't come out yeah, yet. Yeah, man, it's been. A, has it really been almost a year? When when did he join the game? July third. I looked God, into it. God, it feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. I remember that. July like, really 3rd. Well. It was such a fun and exciting time. Like, for the Final Fantasy Yeah, it was game. crazy. And for me, like... It was it lit. It was just... Super, super enjoyable. We had this massive rush of people coming into the game and telling me how much they love the game. And it was just like... It felt like a huge celebration of Final Fantasy 14. And I was really, really happy during that time. I think a really big factor too was the fact that WoW was really fucking bad. Like, WoW is not not great right now, you know? But, like, back then, you guys have no idea. It was like... Oh my god. It, like, it took a year, and then Corthia came out. And then people were like, man, this isn't that cool. And then Blizzard's like, Okay, you want a new expansion? Here's the sexual harassment federal lawsuit uh, expansion. And we've got a brand new one right here. And then all that shit happened. So it was just like Final Fantasy grew a lot. I think that that was the big reason, right? Is like a lot of people after all that stopped being WoW players. And I don't think that a lot of those people turned into Final Fantasy players. I think that they turned into MMO and video game enjoyers. I don't think that it was like as simple as they go from WoW to Final Fantasy. Is that they went from WoW to Final Fantasy and the New World. And then they're playing Lost Ark for a while. Elden Ring comes out. Like it's a new thing. Uh, it's actually a much better thing. Yeah, they became video game enjoyers. And that is a, that, I think that was a good thing. It, it, it was unironically a very good thing. It's healthier for the game. I think it was. I think it was a lot healthier for the game. It was good for everybody, too. And uh, that was all right before the war started. Like oh, we were yeah. We looking forward to Endwalker coming out. And there was so much hype and, like, excitement in the community. Bro, I, I couldn't imagine, like, my house. Because, like, didn't her house get looted? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Her house got looted whenever she came back to Ukraine. Dude, that fucking... Dude, I... Like, people in the U.S. Are, are fortunate enough that, like, we've never really had a war here. So it's like, I can't even imagine what that's like. And I was connecting with all these, you know, former WoW players oh, she's in the U.S. now? In. Okay from the WoW community and like I feel such a strong like kinship with them because I am them <laughs> like I also came from WoW I see myself like as like, yeah so much of my identity had been wrapped up in World of Warcraft so like that I was felt like I was making all these new friends and um love and life man it was just a it was a really really um I look back on that time with really fond memories the I think that's the important thing is like, even if you play another game, a lot of people can go back and they'll look at WoW and they'll be like, man, I actually did have fun. I enjoyed myself playing the game. And I think that's what really matters is like making sure that people, even if they move away from the game for whatever reason, they still have a positive view on it. To Endwalker. And then like so much shit happened like it was the war started well like that's whenever i had like all that stuff with my mom too like oh my god man like i remember i would that was i have never been under more stress in my life and it's like nothing was even like remotely fucking close it was so bad and it's weird because like now that like everything is is over and you know it happened like a number of months ago now so, like, I, I can kind of, like, emotionally, like, not really move past it, but I can not have it control me, I guess. I'm really not that stressed out about hardly anything anymore. I'm not. 
some stupid shit happens, uh, something else dumb happens, it's, it, it is what it is. You know, and it, it like it made me a, a little bit more like myself, and I, I feel like I lost that over the years, uh, with how, how how draining it was. Everything has perspective now. Yeah, I think so. It became numb. No, it's not that. It's that like whenever I hear something, like imagine that like, okay, so think about it like this. Think of it like a glass of water, and like the glass, like the the size of the glass is how much stress you can deal with. And whenever I was dealing with like, you know, that, that situation with her and, and just like everything else like happening at the same time, um, that glass was almost full just by itself. Like before you put any other extra stuff into it, it was already full. Yeah. And then, it, yeah, it happens with the years, your brain matures. Yeah. And so like anything would just like fucking put it over the edge. Uh, was this year being affected by major events such as war and extreme poverty? Well, we've been affected by like a certain level of extreme poverty. I mean, like, would you say, I mean, we live in America, so it's like extreme poverty in America is not nowhere near the experience that somebody in India or, or, or Africa for that matter would have. Uh, but it was still bad. And since that, I, I feel like time has just yeah. been f flying by like in a, Mm -hmm. at light speed it's been a while i feel like all the months since february have or even like december or january have just blended together and blurred together it's felt like that for me too and i feel like that whole period of time like i don't even remember whenever i started streaming again i don't remember like i, I have no idea what what day it was what month it was i have no idea like what before Lost Ark? Yeah, I don't know when came it came out. out. And then me doing the Inwalker story. I was still in my house in Brucha and uh, recording all of that. That was the first time I recorded the whole main story quest. Um, because I'd seen it, oh, many, so many other streamers record themselves, you know, doing the main story mm -hmm. quest. And I enjoyed seeing that so much. I was like, damn, I should really do that too. And uh, I think that was like the last really, really fond memory that I had from living in Ukraine. And so to me, I mean, obviously, things will never be the way that they were before. No, it's hard to do that. It's going to be really nice to see at least some of that again. You know what I mean? Like seeing yeah. a lot more of these like new players come into the game, like so many new eyes on the game and uh, just us having a, ch a chance to celebrate this game again in the way that I tend to do pretty much every day. You know what I'm saying? So. Will Asmund's return bring a lot of attention again to FF14? Yeah, it absolutely will. And so I'm, you know, that's one of the reasons I'm really yeah, sure. happy about this. Um, because I, I know not everybody loves Asmund Gold. I think he's a really nice person. I've had some a fair bit of personal interactions with him. Uh, have you know, to get the disclaimer the out there. Like I've yep. talked to him in uh, private messages and things. And he's been a super, super nice guy to me. Yeah. Like, I, I know that he's a good guy. And, but regardless of what you think about Asmongold, you should be happy about all of the new eyes that are going to be on Palm of 14 yep. and all the new players that will inevitably come just because he's a big streamer and will bring a big audience. And uh, so I feel like there's going to be a lot of good that comes out of it. Uh, he is one of the people who was checking on me. Um, he did write me, reach out to me and just ask me if I was okay uh, in the lead up to the war. And I, I will always remember the people that did check like, there's a few people in the community uh, that reached out to me, asked me if I was okay, asked me, you know, just checking in, seeing. Yeah, I mean, of course if I, I was would. Make of course it, I would know? do that, guys. Come I'll on. always remember all those people very. Yeah, of course. Uh, forever, I'll always remember the people that did that. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't mean to make this saying. depressing. I, I wanted this to be like I'm happy. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, really happy it, it about should, this goes outside. because it, you know, it it just brings to mind another really happy time which was last year what happened she lived in ukraine and, and so like the whole situation that uh uh that, that so, happened with her was just bad like that's really what it was chaz weird no it's not about like some romance thing like yo chill boys like stop I, like it's just i i mean of course i would check up on somebody in that situation man holy fuck like it's awful yeah and so let me, let me link it to you guys that boy she does a lot of final fantasy stuff i, I i've done videos with her she's been on all crap before it, it's it's been great uh, and so yeah chat super cringe i know anytime that i interact with a female 
uh, you, you know, like people trying to fucking, you know, fucking, you know, try and make it out to be a thing. Guys, chill out, all right? Chill the fuck out. Uh, I, I'm good. Um, as a fellow outfit, you have to think as well as friends as well. Ben Zeppelin's Ze Jesse Cox's videos convinced me to try Final Fantasy 14, but the YouTube algorithm, I uh, have decided to put them in a feed that big. I don't think it was depressing at all. No, I don't think so at all. Okay, remember the guy was going through a tough time? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was. Is Return will be good for the game? Yeah, I, th I think it'll it'll probably be good. Sure. Asmongold's the one who convinced me to try out the free trial. I joined whenever Zach joined. Dude, that's nuts. He was the reason that I got... Bro, like... Did I get that many people into the game? Same? Jesus, guys. He got me into the game 100%. I, I didn't know that. Give me give me a minute. Um Yeah, I had no fucking idea. Um